is it like to live as a billionaire? That is what I want to show you just right now. I've always dreamt of being a billionaire for the longest time. And lucky enough, I've found myself immersed in the experience of a real billionaire in real time. This is a story of the highest residential unit in the entire East and Central Africa. Sitting 30 floors high above the ground, spanning 332 meters square, that is 332 meters square, off the ground, with the best views of Nairobi skyline, unobstructed, living exclusively, no neighbor next to you. Imagine just being able to get to see the sunset and the sunrise in real time. Not only for your property, but also on the garden level. You get to get the best views of Nairobi skyline. Imagine being on the level where you've got no neighbor next to you, no obstruction. To be honest, this is an experience that I will pay $1.125 million to acquire this property. On this level, where the property is, you get fresh air, you're breathing your own oxygen. Nobody is contaminating it. You're enjoying what nobody else can enjoy on the level where your property is placed. In this property, you get the luxury to get to see JKIA at night. Planes taking off and landing from your balcony or even your lounge. You can as well get to see Long Hills and also get to see Carol Forest from a master bedroom balcony. That is something that I think a billionaire would wish to have at his disposal. Tired of the views, you can still come down to the garden level and enjoy the city view still at the garden level. Where I have a modern landscape garden, right? I also got an Olympic sized swimming pool open to the sky and the sunlight and the heat. You don't need to take a flight to Mombasa. You can enjoy the waters just next to your property. Tired of swimming, you can just move into the gym area, which has a steam and sauna for the gents and the ladies separately. On the gym area, I also have a yoga spot for you, for those who like aerobic workouts. Tired of working out, you can just jump into the showers, take a shower, come straight into the mini cinema room. Walk it, move in, close yourself, just sit down and enjoy movies on a weekend, on an evening, whenever you want to. Tired of watching, you can walk into this space where I'm standing right now with your buddies, smoke your cigars, drink your nice wine and whiskey on a weekend, enjoy this ambience, the chocolate brown all my surrounding here, right? Beautiful done on this cigar lounge. Exclusively for you with your buddies, with the ambience that you get from here, just dim lighting on an evening maybe, or an early morning if you want to. Done the meetings, you can just walk out, move into the mall area. Do your shopping, have careful in the compound, you don't need to go out, right? Everything that you might need, name it, shopping, name it. You know, cutting your hair, salon over there, there's a barber shop over there, coffee shop, laundry, everything that you might need, it's at a zero distance in this property. Unlike anything I've ever seen in the market. You're done with the shopping and cutting your hair, right? Laundry, name it, anything. You go back into the zero right the luxurious the highest towering 32 meters square right residential unit in the entire east and central africa for you the billionaire <laughs> let's check it out <laughs> Thank you.
with that price, I really know exclusivity, privacy, security is struck just from the many teas. And you land on the landing over there, I've got two lifts that serves you alone. I've got three access points, one for the main entrance for your guest and yourself if you want to access the lounge, which is this. On the other side, I've also, I also have a private access for you alone into your master bedroom. That is something very unique. You don't find many times in the market. And the other side is an access to the SQ. That means your housemate never gets a chance to access your main entrance if you don't want them to use this access. Just from the SQ entrance into the SQ, I have that wing dedicated only for the utility area. The laundry, the pantry, the SQ, and the margin, the utility and the laundry are still enjoying beautiful views of Lavington, Aboretum, Riverside, all the way to Gong Hills. That is the access to the utility area again. Where I'm standing, this is the lounge of the billionaire. Just imagine, your lounge sits 30 floors above the ground. It's the toppest lounge in the entire market. Nobody enjoys what you enjoy on this space. On my right hand side, I can decide, you know, have a look at, you know, JKIA at night. It's a view that many won't manage to view. It's you only who's enjoying that view. The windows are very huge. In fact, 100% of this wing, it's a window, right? You're not just having painted walls, you're having picturesque, right? Window views of the Robbie skyline, right? And then switch a bit, you get to enjoy the views of Moor Hills. If you get to get a binoculars, put it in between here, avoid the coffee table, have it here. Let me say, maybe in the morning, you can enjoy the view with the binoculars from this point. Oh, those are things that not everybody enjoys. It's only you on this level. This is the only unit that guarantees you such kind of lifestyle. The height on this lounge is approximately 3.5 meter high, allowing a lot of air circulation on this space. In front of me, it's a wall. No paintings, huge white tiles with marble grains on it. And the black panels just next to it, black and white combination of a straight line with ambient straight lighting illuminating that wall and the line behind me just in front of the kitchen. This kitchen is an open plan kitchen. In between is our dining set. You can decide to go with a bigger one or a smaller one, whatever suits you. This is the only kitchen in the market that has got an access to a balcony and the balcony has a view that not many balconies enjoy. The view of the JW Mario swimming pool, you can get it from this balcony. Tired of that, you can switch and still have the view, right, of the Robbie skyline of the southwest of the Robbie. This kitchen is really impressive, not only with the finishes, but the natural lighting and the views. Just imagine in the morning, right? Maybe having breakfast from that countertop over there and enjoying the views of Ngong Hills from this countertop. That is something many don't get to enjoy. It's only for the billionaire, just like you and me in future. <laughs> this kitchen has a kitchen island, as you can see, which is approximately two meters in length. One of the hugest kitchen islands in the market with a granite countertop, with a lot of cabinetries. The kitchen has a lot of countertops, three banner with an induction, right? With a huge window. In fact, it's the hugest window on a kitchen in a residential unit 30 floors of the ground. This is it. This kitchen doesn't only brag or boast of the countertops and the space and the functionality in it, but also natural lighting and the views on my left hand side. That 
is what a billionaire should get in Nairobi. In front of me is the guest bedroom, which I want to show you in a bit. How a billionaire's guest bedroom should look like and the views it should have. So follow me, let's go see it. When you walk into this bedroom, the first thing that attracts you is this view. <laughs> and wow, I never imagined, right? Cabra Forest would be this huge until I walked into this guest bedroom in a billionaire's penthouse in Nairobi. The height here is so high. It feels very warm in city here. The natural lighting is just enough. And this is the only bedroom with a balcony and its own suite. And the privacy you get in this bedroom is just unmatched. You can decide and even avoid using drapes on this wall and have that as your drape because there's nobody else who is getting to see you in your bedroom. This is for the guest. When you got guests in this space, they don't only get to enjoy your hospitality, but they also enjoy the views. This view, this view is what trillions of money the views on this side trillions of kind of shillings this view so when you just think about it you know you're not just buying a property you're buying a view worth a trillion kind of shillings just next to this bedroom is the second bedroom of course it's on suite the bedroom also has very beautiful views of the coral forest and you know, Nairobi skyline on my right hand side. That's the guest bedroom. Just after the guest bedroom, this corridor is housing the second bedroom, the third bedroom, and the master bedroom, which I'll show you in a bit. Not only that, the corridor has the highest ceiling I've ever seen in the market. On the right hand side here is the second bedroom, which of course is en suite, right? And a very huge floor to ceiling windows which gives you a beautiful view of more hills on that side and the best view of Nairobi skyline on the east side. Next to this bedroom, this bedroom is the third bedroom which enjoys something unique again which I'm just about to reveal. This bedroom doesn't have a very huge window, of course it's just sizable window, floor to ceiling of course better than what the market offers. But the most unique part about this bedroom is this window, the hugest window from floor to ceiling, right? In a residential penthouse. Just imagine showering on that side in a shower cubicle and having this view in front of you. That is beautiful, to be honest. There is nothing like that in the market. I know you wait, you wanna see how the master bedroom looks like, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. So follow me, let's get to see how the master bedroom looks like. This is shocking. Let's go. Wow. The breeze coming straight from Corona Forest into your private lounge in your master bedroom. This is a balcony in a private lounge in a master bedroom. I can just feel, I feel just relaxed. I'm cooling off. I'm chilling, I'm relaxing. In my penthouse, after working the entire day, in the evening coming back, this is what you come back home for. Of course, the height is so high. This can be your art gallery, this one, maybe, or a bookshelf you want to have some nice seats here, right? Maybe stay with your TV on the wall. Tired of watching, you can watch that view. As I mentioned before, this one now is 2.5 trillion kind of shilling. The view here. <laughs> which only me and you, me and you <laughs> get to enjoy. Nobody else. That is if you decide to purchase it. And the beauty about this is these floor to ceiling windows, the French windows are double glazed, right? So once we close the windows, it gets very quiet and chilled. You can sit down here and strike your deals. And listen, this is the only place you can strike the most valuable deals. Privately, nobody gets to, you know, see or hear about your moves. And that's what billionaires are looking for. The billionaire moves, you do them here, right? Behind me, it's a corridor that gives you access to things that you want to drop off very fast. 
in things that you want to pick very fast when you're working out things like jackets boots maybe on that corridor privately for you the billionaire this side is the most attractive and lucrative point of the master bedroom the master bedroom begins from here in fact the master bedroom takes a quarter of the entire space as i mentioned before it's 332 meters square over penthouse 30 flows up off the ground there is nothing like that in the market i'm not just selling but i'm just telling the reality in the market right so come see this master bedroom which i think is very attractive right in as much as it's now staged the most attractive thing in this master bedroom is the partitioning this partitioning glass partitioning for your headboard i'm not giving you walls it's glass partitioning and the height is so high put your bed here relax sleep chill and still enjoy a view in front of you tired of sleeping on the bed jump into the balcony still get the view that is what a billionaire is looking for right if i were you right going around looking for property to buy trust me this would be top three on my list and i think it's not about having a very huge space no it's about having a very huge level of privacy and exclusivity which not many get to enjoy just behind this partitioning is something very beautiful before i mention what is behind this you can do a six by six here comfortably and still put two seats for you and your partner on the balcony behind this partitioning i have a wall with shelves you can put your trousers you can put your you know shoes name it gucci louis louis vuitton i mean name it fendi anything that suits your thrill right very expensive stuff can fit over there and the good thing about it is the lighting on the shelves illuminate and show you what to pick in the morning and show you what to pick in the evening when you're just about to go out for your night dates, party, having fun. You know, let me explain something. Sometimes it's not about business every time. Sometimes it's not about having fun because you work so hard. Just before you jump out, take your bionic cologne spray on your body, right? This is a space where you can put your expensive stuff, which you used to, to wear. Now, the beauty about this point is spacious. You can access it at the same time with your partner. On that side, it's your, I mean, private walk-in closet with a sliding door. You can slide and lock it. Put your private stuff, firearm, name it, anything that you want to just hide it from anybody else is this space. And... The lights here are motion sensor. You walk in the light on, you go out, they go off. This is where you hang your Brioni suits, your Savile Row jackets, you know, a base box suits from London. You put them here, right? <laughs> your top, you know, uh, Italian shoes from Biela and your nice hair and fabric suits from Biela as well. Put them on these locations. You know, they get ambient lighting and they look so beautiful at night or even in the morning when you want to wear them on to your billionaire deals somewhere over there down where in dubai i don't know you jump out of this space go straight into the expressway into gka get your flight back to london back to dubai do your deals come back you come back with your wife she walks into this walking closet right takes off very expensive michael Cole's dress maybe i don't know so just top stuff and hangs Maybe somewhere there, right? I have every compartment for everything that a billionaire's wife, right, would want to place, you know, and to stack them on these walls. And the walls here are not so bright, they're cool, relaxed. It gives you a chance for your dresses, your tops, your, um, your trousers, your shoes to pop out from the shelves. It's not so huge, it's very tight, small enough for you, the billionaire's wife. 
you can put your watches here you can put your very premium handbags in this space and still pull the sliding door right and lock it undress then you go straight not so far away is your washroom your washroom is just next to your walk-in closet you just bypass your bedside point into your spa like washroom right you can't be here. there's no rush you don't take you don't rush into into showering you take your time sit here right in your nice row sit here right and call your husband to join you not for anything else but just to enjoy the views you get from this side of the washroom this washroom is not so huge but what i like about this washroom it's it's just sizable space for only two of you your sink and her sink cooler center away top of the line in a very huge mirror for the two of you and this shower cubicle very huge shower cubicle more lighting into it you shower will you enjoy the views of color forest and goes all the way a hundred kilometers on my left hand side from that washroom shower cubicle rain shower and the floating toilet over there as you are in your toilet room you still get to enjoy the views of the entire Nairobi. i mean that is something i think that a billionaire will be looking for maybe i don't know maybe i don't know just tell me what should a billionaire look for in a washroom trust me a washroom with a view of Nairobi skyline the topest washroom in the market there is no washroom that can compete with this in terms of views right there's nothing in terms of views in terms of natural lighting unobstructed nobody is coming to block your view it's the topest unit in the entire market right with this kind of views just next to me is a bathtub tired of showering just jump into the bathtub you soak yourself in the tub and enjoy those views. You can see all the way to Colorado Forest, Mudaiga. On a clear day, you can see Mount Kenya. That is what a billionaire is looking for, right? And, you know, it's just unmatched. You can't compare with anything in the market. And that's what it looks like to live in the most premium, the highest residential apartment in the entire East and Central Africa giving you the highest level of living right now in Nairobi. Just imagine, this property was designed in 2016 and delivered in 2022. It took this developer six years, right? That is almost a three quarter of a decade just to design and develop and deliver the most premium and the highest residential apartment in the entire East and Central Africa. I think the story behind this property is just sentimental and it's very beautiful. To me, I'm so humbled and privileged even to step and sit where I'm sitting right now. Trust me. I kind of feel like I've achieved a step to become a billionaire. And I'll be so happy, right, to join you maybe on your Seagull Lounge one day when you get to own this property. And it was your guy, Boris Yeltsin, and I'm gonna see you on the next one. Maybe a multi-billion listing, or maybe a multi-million listing, or maybe a million Kenya shilling listing in the market from only 1.125 million USD interested you know what you do <laughs> on the screen is the novel see you next time it's a guy boris yelsey